Hi everyone this is Ruchi Kulkarni and today we are going to do the 7th chapter of first flight class 10 which is glimpses of india In today's session we will do the second part of glimpses of india that is kurk which is written by Lokesh Aprol Kurk is the smallest district of Karnataka it is known for its tales of bravery coffee plantations spices and rain forests The writer Lokesh Abrol calls it a piece of heaven that has descended on earth. Let's read and understand more about the scenic hill station followed by the significance of its title, moral given by it and end the session with summary and question answers. But as usual, we'll begin the session with the writer's introduction. Dr. Lokesh Abrol is an Indian doctor traveler and social entrepreneur who loves india and likes writing about different places he visited in india he is also a heritage author by hobby having published for ncrt discovery india incredible india outlook traveler swagat srishti and tashi dilek he established the first multi speciality hospital in the private sector in gurgaon and he also founded the first stray cow shelter in gurgaon he believes in serving the poor and needy strata of the society and presently he lives in gurgaon india kurk is a coffee country famous for its rain forests and spices Kurk is a place which is located in Karnataka. It's a hill station and it is famous for growing coffee, its rainforests and spices. Let's see in this part of the story what Lokesh Abrol has to say about Kurk. Midway between Mysore and the coastal town of Mangalore sits a piece of heaven that must have drifted from the kingdom of God. A piece of heaven is a place that looks like heaven and drifted from means being carried along gently by air. The land of rolling hills is inhabited by a proud race of martial men, beautiful women and wild creatures. Inhabited means occupied and martial means having to do with war. Kurk or Kodagu The smallest district of Karnataka is home to evergreen rainforests, spices and coffee plantations. Evergreen rainforests cover 30% of this district. During the monsoons it pours enough to keep many visitors away. The writer starts with beautiful description of this place called Kurk, which is between Mysore and Mangalore. It seems as if a piece of heaven or a part of the heaven has been carried away to the earth from the kingdom of god kingdom of god means heaven the writer says that this place looks so beautiful as if a part of the heaven has come down on earth kurk has got many hills and these hills are occupied by the local people who are martial men Now men here are called as martial because they are good warriors they can fight in wars the hills are also occupied by beautiful women and a lot of wild creatures kurk also known as kodgu is the smallest district of karnataka it has got rain forests it has got spices and many coffee plantations since this place is very famous for coffee Now evergreen rainforests cover at least 30% of this district and during the monsoons the rains are so heavy that there are absolutely no visitors nobody comes here to visit because that's not the season to visit kurk the season of joy commences from september and continues till march commences means start the weather is perfect with some showers thrown in for good measure the air breathes of invigorating coffee invigorating means making one feel strong healthy and full of energy coffee estates and colonial bungalows stand tucked under tree canopies in prime corners canopies are roof like covering that form shelters 
and prime here means best the fiercely independent people of kurk are possibly of greek or arabic descent descent means ancestors the writer says that the months between september and march are the best months to visit this place and it is also called a season of joy here because that's when most of the visitors come here to visit this place or to enjoy the beauty of nature because this time is the time when the weather is perfect there are little bit of showers like the rain showers but they are not as much as in the monsoon season the air also is filled with the smell of coffee that smell of coffee brings about strength and health and a lot of energy in everyone there are many coffee estates and bungalows that stand under tree canopies tree canopies here means the trees are so big that they form a roof like covering over the bungalows and these estates or bungalows are situated in the prime corners or the best corners of this place the people of kurk are possibly the lineage or the family uh, ancestral line of greek or arabs they are called fiercely independent because greek or arabic people were very good at war and therefore their genes has been passed on to the localites here because they belong to the same ancestral lineage as one story goes a part of alexander's army moved south along the coast and settled here when return became impractical these people married amongst the locals and their culture is apparent in the martial traditions marriage and religious rites which are distinct from the hindu mainstream mainstream is a tradition which most people follow the theory of arab origin draws support from the long black coat with an embroidered waist belt worn by kudwas known as kufiya it resembles the kufiya worn by arabs and kurds the writer here now explains the reason why the local people belong to the family tree of greek or arabic it is because when alexander's army came here some people could not return to their native place so then these people married the locals and their culture the kurk culture now has a lot of aspects of the martial traditions that is the war based traditions marriage and religious rites and all these traditions of kurk are very different from the hindu mainstream there is also this theory of arab origin because the way they dress up or their traditional dress resembles the dress of arabs or kurds so what do they wear they wear a long black coat with an embroidered waist belt this dress is worn by kodavas which is known as kupia and this kupia resembles the dress of arabs and kurds which in their country is known as kufia kurki homes have a tradition of hospitality and they are more than willing to recount numerous tales of valor related to their sons and fathers tales of valor means stories of courage and bravery usually in war recount means remember or tell something of the past the kurk regiment is one of the most decorated in the indian army and the first chief of the indian army general kariyappa was a kurki most decorated here means having received the maximum number of awards for bravery in war even now kudavas are the only people in india permitted to carry firearms without a license firearms means pistols or guns kurki people have this tradition of hospitality means that they look after their guests very well and they are always willing to tell the tales which had courage and bravery in it because they had the ancestors who usually were involved in war so these real war stories were related to their sons and fathers and they were very happy to tell them to other people as well there is a regiment in indian army which is called kurk regiment it is the most decorated one 
because it has received the maximum number of awards for bravery in war and also in addition the first chief of indian army who was general karyappa was also a kurgi or was a native of kurg and even now kodavas are the only people in india who are permitted to keep pistols or guns without a license no other part in india allows people to have that the river kaveri obtains its water from the hills and forests of kurg mahasir mahasir is a large freshwater fish abound in these waters abound means full of or plenty kingfishers dive for their catch while squirrels and langurs drop partially eaten fruit for the mischief of enjoying the splash and the ripple effect in the clear water elephants enjoy being bathed and scrubbed in the river by their mahots mahot are people who ride on the elephant and control it the river kaveri which runs through karnataka obtains its river from hills and forests of kurk mahasir is the large freshwater fish which is found in plenty in the waters of this river there are kingfishers that is a bird which eats fish the writer also tells about different types of animals who are playing around this river squirrels and langurs drop eaten fruit partially eaten fruit because they want to enjoy the splash and ripple effect in the clear water when these animals throw the fruit into the water there is a splash of water and there are ripples on the clear water which they enjoy looking at it elephants also enjoy being bathed and scrubbed by mahots mahot is a person who rides and controls or looks after the elephants the most laid back individuals become converts to the life of high energy adventure of river rafting canoeing rappelling rock climbing and mountain biking laid back means relaxed or who are not in a hurry rafting means traveling in a river in a raft a raft is a floating platform made by tying planks together canoeing means traveling in a river in a canoe canoe is a large narrow boat and rappelling is going down a cliff by sliding down a rope numerous walking trails in this region are a favorite with trekkers trekkers are people who like to trek on mountains birds bees and butterflies are there to give you company macaques malabar squirrels langurs and slender lorises keep a watchful eye from the tree canopy i do however prefer to step outside for wild elephants in these paragraphs the writer now talks about what kind of adventure sports kurk gives to its visitors or to its local people even the most relaxed or a person who is not in a hurry a laid back person will become energy driven or will have high energy because of the sports that this place allows well there is river rafting there is canoeing there is rappelling and rock climbing and mountain biking when anyone does these kind of high energy adventure activities the person gets very highly energized there are numerous walking trails on the hilly regions also and these trails are favorite with the people who like trekking apart from this there are various types of animals also one could see birds bees and butterflies then one can also see macaques malabar squirrels langurs and slender lorises but the writer says that he prefers to go out to see wild elephants because he is fond of elephants the climb to the brahmagiri hills brings you into a panoramic view of the entire misty landscape of kurg panoramic view means a view of a wide area of land and misty means foggy a walk across the rope bridge leads to the 64 acre island of nisargadham running into buddhist monks from india's largest tibetan settlement 
at nearby Bailakope is a bonus. The monks in red, ochre and yellow robes are amongst the many surprises that wait to be discovered by visitors searching for the heart and soul of India right here in Kurg. Ochre means pale yellow colour. The writer here explains that when one climbs the Brahmagiri hills, he can get a panoramic or a wide view of the area of Kurg. There is mist on the landscape of Kurg. There is a lot of fog and amidst this fog, Kurg looks very beautiful. There is also a rope bridge which leads to a big island of Nisargadham. This island runs into India's largest Tibetan settlement which is called as Bailakope. So when you go there or when you visit Kurk, you must also visit this place which is Bailakope and where Buddhist monks live. These monks wear a robe or a dress which is red, pale yellow and yellow in color. When a visitor goes to Kurk, he gets many surprises and if he wants to search the heart and soul of India, he must find it in Kurk because that's where it exists. The writer Lokesh Abrol has described Kurg very beautifully. He compares this beautiful place with the kingdom of gods, that is heaven. And he vividly tells us about its weather, tales of valor, the coffee plantations and how the traditional dress of Kurg is inspired by Arabs and Kurds. Not just that, he also talks about the wildlife and adventure sports that attract many tourists every year. Since this part of the chapter is all about the beauty and speciality of Kurk, the title is appropriate. The moral that we understand from this part of the chapter is that nature's beauty is unmatchable. We must make an effort to keep it that way always. Kurk presents a natural habitat to many wild animals. So we should learn from Kurgis how well they have maintained it without harming the wildlife. We should also draw inspiration of valor from Kurk's martial men and learn the ways of sustaining nature's beauty which is present in Kurk. Wait for the summary and question answers which I am going to flash just now in a moment to you. But before I leave, let me remind you that if you like my videos, please share them and subscribe to my channel and grow with me. Also, do not forget to press the bell icon because that's how you are going to get notifications about my new uploads. In my next video, I will bring up the third part of the glimpses of India which is tea from Assam. I'll see you again in my next video in the next session. Again, take good care of yourself. Best wishes and goodbye.